Hello, you're welcome to this tutorial. In this lesson, you're going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says the brake mechanism used to reduce recoil in certain types of guns consists essentially of a piston attached to the barrel and moving in a fixed cylinder filled with oil. As the barrel recoils with an initial velocity V0, the piston moves and oil is forced through the orifices in the piston causing the piston and the barrel to decelerate at a rate proportional to their velocity. That is A equals minus KV. Express A, B in terms of T, B, X in terms of T, and C, V in terms of X. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to solve this question. Okay, so first of all, we have to express V in terms of T. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to do this. Okay, so basically we know that the expression that relates velocity and time is acceleration. Okay, so we can write acceleration because change in velocity with respect to what time, which is dv over dt. Okay, this is what we have. And then from the question we've been given that acceleration equals minus k v okay so you can substitute this in place of this a that we have here and then that will give us minus k v equals let me write this again minus k v equals dv over dt okay this is what we have now so you see that this is an expression of v and t okay so what you are going to do is that you are going to group uh, the term. Okay, you see I have V here and I have V here. So I'm going to group these terms on one side and then the, the T and K term will go on one side. So let's look at what will happen. So when I do this, I'm going to have DV over V, okay, equals minus K DT. Okay, so this is what you have now. So what you want to do is to express V in terms of T. Okay, so the best way to do this is to integrate this expression that we have now. So let's go ahead and look at that. So I write this, we have DV over V equals NSK dt. Okay, so I'm going to integrate this. So I'm going to integrate this so I can get V in terms of T. But this is an indefinite integral, okay? So before we can do this, before we can compute this, we would like to change it to a definite integral. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to do this. So to change this into a definite integral, you will have to set some initial and final conditions. Okay, so let's look at what you are going to do. So for the initial conditions, let's look at that. So we are giving the initial velocity to be V0. We're going to have the initial velocity V to be equal to V0. And then the final velocity V to be equal to V. Okay. And then for the time, we're not giving a specific initial time. And then specific final time. So we are going to um, assume our own variables. Okay. So... What I'll do is that I'll consider the initial time t to be zero. I'll consider the initial time t to be zero and then the final time t to be t. Okay. You can you can do this the other way. You can also do this as um, you can consider the initial time t to be equal to t1 and then the final time t to be equal to what, t2. Okay. I'm using zero and t because I want to make my solution very simplified. But I can do it the other way too. So now that we know the initial conditions, this the these are the initial conditions, okay. And then what I have here is the final condition. So we are going to use this to transform the indefinite integral to a definite integral. So we're going to have integral from v naught to v, okay. 1 over v dv, okay, to be equal to integral from 0 to t minus k 
dt okay so let's simplify this integral so when i integrate this thing okay i'm going to have the line of v okay and then we have the conditions that's from v naught to v okay and then this will be equal to for the right hand side the k is a constant so i'm going to have minus k here and then i'll integrate the t which will give me t okay so i'm going to have this multiplying t and then you have the conditions to be from okay let me take this off so i have t then you have the conditions to be from 0 to t okay so let's do the substitution so i'm going to have ln of v minus ln of v naught which will be equal to minus k multiplying t minus 0 okay we just substituted the conditions into it so when i simplify this i'm going to have v minus ln of v naught to be equal to minus kt okay so this is what we have so let's go out you can do next so for the term we have on the left hand side i'm going to transform it using log properties okay so i'm going to have ln of v over v naught to be equal to minus kt and i want to make v the subject okay so what i'll do is that i'll introduce this e okay on both sides and then when i do this you're going to have this constant at the length so you're going to have v over v naught to be equal to e to the power minus kt and then since you want to make v the subject you're going to move this v naught to this side and then that's going to give us v to be equal to v naught multiplying e to the power minus kt so this is for the first part of the question so let's go ahead and then answer the b also okay so now let's answer the b also we say that we should express x in terms of t okay so x here represents position and the t represents the time and then the v is velocity okay so you know that the expression that um, relates position and time is velocity okay so you know that velocity equals the x over the t okay and then we already know v which is this expression that we generated from the first part of the question so i'm going to have v naught okay i'm going to have v naught multiplying e to the power minus kt equals the x over the t okay and then you want to express x in terms of t okay so let's look at what will happen okay so i will take this the t term here to this side okay i'll take this the t term to this side and then we see what will happen okay so i'm going to have v naught multiplying e to the power minus kt dt equals dx okay this is what we have now and then let's look at what you are going to do so now i'm going to integrate this since you want to express x in terms of t so that i can get x standing on its own okay so i'm going to integrate this and before we integrate you know this is um this is an indefinite integral so you must change this into a definite integral and before you can do this you must set some initial and then final conditions so for the time we already know that the initial time is zero and then the final time is t you can use t1 and t2 as i said earlier and then for the position also you can set the initial position x to be equal to zero and then the final to be equal to x you can also use x1 and x2 but to make to make things easier that's why i'm using the initial i'm considering the initial conditions to be zero so let's do this integration so we are going to have v naught since it is a constant in this case i'm going to take it to the left side of the integral sign i'm going to have from zero to t and then i'm going to have e to the power minus kt dt this should be equal to integral from zero to x from zero to x dx Okay, so now let's simplify this. We're going to have v naught multiplying 
So the integral of e to the power minus a, e to the power minus kt will give me e to the power minus kt divided by the derivative of the exponent values, and then that will give me divided by minus k. Okay, so let me clean this. Okay, and then enlarge it. Okay, so this is what you have. So you have e to the power minus kt over minus k, and then you have the boundary which is from 0 to t, and then let me bring the square bracket, and then this will be equal to y integrate dx, I'll get x, and then you have the boundary condition which is from 0 to x. So let's simplify this. We are going to have v naught multiplying, that's for the left side, we are going to have e to the power minus kt over k, minus okay minus and then you are going to have uh, e to the power minus k in this case t is zero so i bring zero here divided by minus k again okay and then this should be equal to x minus zero then when you simplify this you are going to have v naught multiplying e to the power e to the power minus kt over, forgot this minus, over minus k plus e. Okay, so for here, I'm going to have minus k times 0, and then this will be 0. So I'm going to have something like e to the power 0, okay, e to the power 0 over k. And you know any number to the power 0 is 1, so I'm going to have plus 1 over k. This should be equal to x. So you can do some factorization here. Okay, you can do some factorization here. So you can have v naught over over minus k. So that's minus v naught over k multiplying e to the power minus k t minus one. Okay, this should be equal to x. Okay, so this is what we have now. Okay, so this is basically um what you will get if you want to express x in terms of t okay this is what you are going to get so this is for the b so now let's move on to the c okay so now let's look at the last part of the question which says that we should express v in terms of x so we know that um, acceleration equals dv over dt and then we know that velocity equals dx over dt okay so from here you can see that dt equals dx over v right so you can substitute you can substitute this in place of dt in the acceleration expression we're going to have acceleration to be equal to dv divided by dt which is now dx over v so when i simplify this we're going to have Acceleration to be equal to dv times v over dx. So this will give us acceleration to be equal to v dv over dx. But I want an expression for v and x. Okay. So what you are going to do is that you are going to substitute the acceleration expression, which is a equals minus kv. So when you do this, you are going to have minus kv equals v dv over dx this is what you have so we can you can try and group the terms and do this i'm going to have minus k dx okay minus k dx equals v over v dv so this will cancel out and then i'm going to have i will write i will write it the other so i'm going to have dv equals minus k dx okay this is what you have so it's like we have v in terms of x but before you can make v the subject we will have to integrate this so let's go ahead and then do that okay so i will rewrite what we have we have dv we have dv equals minus k dx so we are going to integrate this and then we will have to convert this into a definite integral so we are going to have integral from v naught to v dv k to be equal to minus k integral from 0 to x 
the x let's integrate this you're going to have to integrate this you're going to have v and then you have the boundary conditions which is v naught to v and then this will be equal to minus k and then you have uh, multiplying x okay and then have the conditions to be zero to x okay this shouldn't confuse you so from here you're going to have v minus v naught because minus k multiplying x minus zero okay so let's simplify this a little v minus v naught to be equal to minus k and then this multiply x will be minus k x and then multiplying zero will be zero so we to have v minus v naught to be equal to minus k x so we want v in terms of x so you have to take the v naught to the right hand side so we to have v to be equal to minus k x plus v naught okay so this is what we have we can rewrite this also as v equals v naught okay v naught minus k x so this will be the answer for the c part also thank you very much for watching this video please make sure you like and subscribe